Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome you to our session about seniors citizens writing Wikipedia. Uh, my name is Jan Beranek, and currently I work with Wikimedia Czech Republic as a coordinator of programs for editors, and also I'm one of the trainers in the Seniors Write Wikipedia project. So, um, Wikimedia Czech Republic uh, started the project uh, in 2014, and I've been involved since year 2019 as one of the trainers. I edit Wikipedia since year 2018. Uh, since that, uh, we found out what works, what doesn't work, but we are still trying to find some new ways to improve how to engage seniors more. And we would like to share these ways. Uh, we figure out how to keep the seniors involved in the long run after we teach them how to edit Wikipedia. So the whole project started in year 2014. Uh, it was initiated by Jan Sokol, who was a university professor. He was president of candidate and uh, very recognized authority in the Czech Republic. Uh, he was also very passionate about editing Wikipedia. He made 30,000 edits during his life, created 2,000 articles. This is a very uh, quite quite famous quote about for from him uh, that we used to promote the project, and I think it's true. About the numbers, uh, we're doing this from 2014. Uh, we had over 600 editors uh, going through our programs, and we've been uh, we've made our courses in more than 17 towns. So, what is the key to our project? Well, the first uh, important thing is our user guide. Uh, we have it printed. Uh, we found out the seniors, they like the paper version, but we also have it online for the people joining online. But we found out that they usually print it at home. Uh, we have framework for uh, both courses. We have two, uh, one basic and one advanced. Uh, each of them is uh, six following uh, lessons, six following weeks, and each lesson takes two hours. Uh, I was talking about this to someone and they told me two hours, that's too long. But it's not just two uh, hours of, uh, of a lecture of me talking, it's two hours of activities. Uh, we let them edit for 15 minutes, then talk for a bit. So it's two hours, it passes like 10 minutes. Uh, we try to cooperate with uh, libraries, NGOs, partners, and University of Third Age. And uh, we train also librarians to become uh, new trainers and trying to uh, get more people from our community to start uh, training seniors. Uh, we do our uh, sessions both online and offline. Uh, it's pretty much uh, based on the seniors' preference, uh, where do they live. For some of them, it's not really possible to come outside, uh, but we found out they're really good uh, with using Meet or Zoom or stuff like this. Uh, we have this feature on Czech Wikipedia called mentorship, and what we do, we assign the trainers, the lecturers as mentors for, uh, for the seniors at Wikipedia as well. And we have a really nice coordinator uh, communicating with the seniors on a daily basis, so they have one contact person they can reach to always. Here are some pictures. Uh, here you have uh, one of the online courses and offline. Both of them are uh, taught by a trainer who is senior herself and uh, he took our course, she liked it so much, she became a trainer after, after that. So what else do we do for our seniors? We have alumni club, uh, we have extension courses for them, so we teach them how to do commons, how to do Wikidata. Uh, we have this thing called Wikischool, uh, that's uh, to our uh, lesson activity each uh, month and we try to cover specific topics. So we had a uh, wiki school about uploading uh, other people's work to commons, or a session about info boxes, how to edit them, how to create a new one. 
Uh, we have an event called Annual Senior, Week, uh, Senior Wicked Town. Uh, the picture is from uh, the Wicked Town a few years ago, and we gather all the people that uh, participated in uh, in past. Uh, usually quite a few of them come, and uh, we spent a weekend with them, edit Wikipedia about the town we are at, take pictures, uh, do fun stuff, meetings. They really love it. Uh, and then we do photo workshops, expedition with them, usually trying to teach them all the skills. But it's not just about education, it's about the social conduct as well. So we do Christmas, New Year's party, we try to meet them as much as possible. This is from my from our alumni club. You can see it's a really nice meetup in a in a cafe, just talking, chatting, sharing stuff. They really love it. Uh, we know that recognition and validation is very important for each uh, Wikipedia editor, and uh, on Wikipedia is uh, done through barn stars, right? Uh, so we created three tiers, you could say. Uh, we have first one for the basic absolvent, and currently uh, we gave it to 267 people. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean we had 267 people absolving the course, it's just the number of people that were uh, given the barn star. And after that, the trainer of the course uh, may give uh, another one after one year an activity and 200 edits. Uh, we currently have 14 horses of that, and the highest year, two years of activity, 500 edits, 50 articles. Uh, we have just five holders uh, up to now. Uh, so we have four main uh, challenges each year round, and uh, we've been trying to get our seniors to participate in those events. Uh, these are pictures from the editathons uh, from Women's Month on Wikipedia or Human Rights Month. And uh, we are really showing them they are welcome because sometimes we told them, okay, this is the Projects for Community event. And they are like, uh, well, I'm, I just was in one course. I don't think I belong in the community. So we really make them feel they do belong. And uh, I think uh, they feel like they do belong. And it really creates this uh, this intergenerational connection in between. Uh, so, what are the results? Uh, we have we have three uh, lectures uh, that were raised from the people who attended the basic course. There are three. Two of them are women, and some of the absolvents actually joined our Wikimedia Czech Republic chapter. And uh, libraries uh, really recognize us, so when we come to them and say, we would like to host Senior Citizens Write Wikipedia course at your library, uh, they usually know and they are okay and fine with them. And here are some numbers uh, about last year. So 14 courses to advanced, and we had 262 expanded sites. I think that's quite a lot. So we are still in love with the program. We still love it. Uh, we've been doing it for years, and I think there's still the same energy that was there at the beginning. Uh, for me, personally, it's uh, seeing the seniors, like how happy they are to learn new stuff. Uh, they come to the lessons, and they are exciting about us showing them something new they didn't know about. And uh, right now, I would like to show you our uh, widow we had for a fundraising campaign last year, and there are two of our absolvents uh, talking about their experience. Co to znamená? Do té doby jsem Wikipedii používala pouze pasivně. Wikipedii jsem používala dlouho předtím, než jsem dostala e-mail s pozvánkou na kurz Wikipedii pro seniory a tak jsem se moc ráda přihlásila. Nejdříve jsem z toho měla obavy, jestli to vůbec zvládnu, ale pak jsem z toho měla velikou radost. Napsala jsem něco přes 270 článků. Psaní Wikipedie je báječný koníček, mám pocit, že se účastním velkého smysluplného projektu. 
To, že píšu českou Wikipedii, ve mně vzbuzuje určitou hrdost. Svůj první článek jsem napsala o svém prastříci, který byl v roce 1942 popraven nacisty. Ten článek byl samozřejmě velmi nedokonalý po formální stránce i částečně po obsahové, ale velice záhy kolegové Wikipedisté ho začali doplňovat. Byla tam fotografie výpisu z matriky, třeba datum narození toho strýčka, doplnili mi tam fotografie a připadalo mi to jako malé děcko, které najednou pozorujete, jak se krásně rozvíjí a vyvíjí do krásy. Musím se přiznat, že Wikipedie je pro mě něco jako droga vlastně už od samého začátku, co jsem začala psát první články. Díky Wikipedii jsem poznala spoustu zajímavých lidí a mám velmi dobrý pocit z napsaných článků. Lektor byl velmi sympatický mladý muž, byl s námi starými velmi trpělivý, laskavý a myslím, že velkou měrou přispěl k tomu, že jsem to hned na začátku nevzdala. Často je seniorům vytýkáno, že nemáme kritické myšlení nebo nedostatek kritického myšlení, rozesíláme řetězové e-maily a tak dále, fake news. A myslím si, že psaní Wikipedie právě rozvíjí kritické myšlení tím, že musíme ověřovat veškeré zdroje, dohledávat zdroje a tak dále. Díky tomu, že jsem psala Wikipedii, tak jsem minulý lockdown prožila vlastně bez nerváků. Vlastně jsem ani na lockdown nemyslela. Letos jsme zdarma učili psát Wikipedii 100 seniorů. Chceme, aby jich příští rok své místo v digitálním světě díky Wikipedii našlo 150. Aby se nám to podařilo, potřebujeme asi 30 pravidelných dárců. Jdete do toho s námi? Jestli nám fandíte, staňte se patronem projektu Seniori píší Wikipedii a posílejte nám každý měsíc tolik, kolik vám nebude chybět. Děkujeme vám za všechny seniory a seniorky, kteří se díky vám stanou součástí Wiki komunity a získají nový koníček. Wiki zdar! Podpořte Seniori píší Wikipedii, je to skvělý, smysluplný projekt. Uh, so here's page of uh, resources. Uh, when you go back to our presentation, uh, you can go through it, click through it, and see what we've been up to. And this is pretty much enough from my presentation. And now I'd like to ask you for any questions, or maybe we can open a discussion. How is it going uh, with seniors in your country? Hello, hi. Uh, thank you so much for this. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you, you talked about intergenerational uh, element for this. Can you tell us a little bit more of how you brought the two the different generations together? Uh, yes. Uh, well, for me, it was uh, basically joining Wikimedia Czech Republic, trying to figure out all the, all the different stuff I can do. And then I was shown this project, this amazing project with seniors. And uh, I think that's been the way for other young, me uh, young members uh, of our community as well. Uh, yeah, I think uh, they are also like looking for the different ways to participate. And this is such a natural way to get old people and young people together. So yeah. Hello, I'm Obi from Nigeria. I want to thank you for this lovely presentation. In my country, I organized um, a group of senior citizens as well. And I can say I've picked one or two things from what you have just shared today. To help you answer her question, bringing the young and the older generation together. In my own experience, I ask for help from the younger generations because they understand digital literacy. The seniors had to find it difficult, difficult using the digital tools. So some came, I made it open, some came with their grandchildren. So the grandchildren helped me to train them with uh, digital tools first, before we started editing Wikipedia. Secondly, the challenge we had, another challenge we had was editing English Wikipedia it was kind of difficult for them. 
Some of them, their articles were deleted because they are not conversant with the policies and guidelines. So we had to change strategy. We adopted um, editing wiki data and commons, which is very, very easier for them. We taught them how to use their phones to take photographs and now how to upload them in Wikicommon with the help of the younger generation as well. Thank you. Yeah, I think also with the younger generation, uh, most of us during COVID went through online learning. So we are quite used to uh, doing stuff online and we can quite naturally pass it to the old people. Um, uh, what would, um, like, <laughs> I'm trying to think my question. Uh, what are, like, the biggest challenges of working uh, with seniors and with the Wikimedia projects? Is there, like, something in particular that you had to, like, talk uh, with the team or you had to contact other partners to, to address to, to this public? Uh, well, in past, it's been the digital literacy of seniors, uh, but last couple of years, well, basically for the whole time I'm in the program, uh, we don't really see as big difference uh, between old people, between how they can use IT. They're usually kind of okay at it already, because from what I've heard uh, at the start of the program, when they came to our, our events, they didn't know how to do anything on a computer. So usually we have them pretty much okay at that, uh, but uh, uh, our courses, our lessons for seniors, they are obviously more slow paced uh, than the events we do for students. So it's choosing the right pace. Also, I think it's the printed materials uh, what's important for seniors, uh, because when they attend uh, lessons from home through Zoom, I've heard from some of them, they like to print uh, the guidebook uh, themselves at home. Yeah, and we have it in, uh, in printed form. Uh, when they go to our events in person, we give it to them. So you can actually uh, take a look at it after afterwards. Also, uh, for, uh, for them to get more comfortable using uh, Zoom and other digital, digital tools, uh, we offer a zero orientation lesson uh, when we can go through the virtual platform with them, show them how to connect, how to share screen and do stuff like this. Do all of the seniors have a computer or laptop on their own at home? Well, um, Personally, I only hosted uh, online online sessions with them, so for that it's needed. Uh, but uh, when we have some lessons at some library, uh, pretty much always we try to get a room with computers so they don't have to bring their laptops. Uh, they don't have to, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. Sorry, let me ask. Do all of them, like when you organize programs, is it a particular kind of exercise or do you introduce different types of exercises that they can do? Because I know some don't like editing. In my own case, some like telling stories. They'll tell you stories, then you write. Right. Uh, so our basic lessons, uh, they are really focused on editing and uh, the output of that is usually writing own article, uh, but we try to show them all the different ways to participate. Uh, the basic lessons, uh, they also include the lesson on taking picture and uploading to commons. So we show them these two main ways. And then we have uh, the wiki school for them, which are monthly meetups on some more advanced projects. Uh, last time we had a session about uh, wiki voyage uh, or how it's pronounced <laughs> about uh, the travel guide on, on wiki to show them different projects and how to participate
Thank you so much, Jan. I think it's time for break now.